Uh, what's been really, really nice is the, the breadth of ages. So we began on Monday with the uh, beginners and the, the, the infants. So that was really nice because what's really, really lovely about the festival, and, and today I'm going into intermediates, but there's nice breadth of ages so clearly the festival encourages the little ones to come on who will maybe play a tiny piece uh, but just get the exposure of being on a, on a fabulous stage and particularly the pianist to come and sit by this m amazing grand piano so for me the first thing that I I thought that was really good was just the breadth um, of material that was on offer musically but also the fabulous ages. What is it about seeing young people kind of discovering their talents and what they perhaps want to work on and improve better that, that you take out, that you enjoy? I think what's really interesting for me is that festivals like this festival and other festivals that I go to provide a really important platform for performance and that's across the disciplines so we're seeing music this week speech and drama dance from other festivals but what's for me is really important is that the opportunity that the young people have to perform in front of an audience and what that teaches them is discipline if it's choirs or ensembles it teaches them uh, teamwork and it teaches about the being in the moment and, and whether they choose to go on to work in performing arts or in, a, in an arts related discipline that gives them a really good grounding uh, and transferable skills and I think that what's so important is that festivals like this one continue to provide those performance opportunities and to, to, to be in the moment you know going onto that stage can be quite nerve-wracking I think for over the past three days I've seen some uh, you know, really confident performers. And when I've asked, they've said, oh, no, no, we're really nervous. Oh, that was scary. But they got up there and they did it. So for me, the big achievement is coming, participating and performing and getting through their pieces and then having the confidence to sit on stage and have somebody like me give feedback to them. Uh, and all of them sort of take it really well. And I try to connect with them in a really positive way. And I also try to speak to them in, in a language that they will understand. You know, for more adult performers or the older uh, young people, I can speak in a more technical way. But for the little ones, they want to know what was good and they want to know what can be done slightly better.